guys, my name is Gia and I'm a vegan bodybuilder. <laughs> Welcome. Thanks for submitting your questions to me guys on Instagram. Um, let's just go ahead and get started. So this is my Ask Me Anything Saturdays. The camera is plopped up on a railing and there's water dripping and dropping from the rain. So you might see water go as it ricochets off of the ledge. <laughs> Shh, don't say the camera's on the ledge. Anywho, let's go ahead and get started. So, Juva underscore Torres, um, your snack energy. So, I recently posted a video of my favorite protein bars, or my favorite bars, um, and I'll link it down below. If, if I need an energy, uh, I will, an energy and, and it's quick, I likely eat an Amrita bar. And the reason I like eating Amrita bars is because the carbs are pretty good there and it's natural carbs. So you know it's not the kind of that jittery carb that you get where you get a super high and then you get a crash from it. Um, it's not just simple processed carbs. It's fruits, it's dates, it's pineapple. Um, that's probably my favorite snack. Okay, GG Jizzle. Uh, good info, I love bars. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks for watching that video, friend. Um, Joe Fizz 7 listen I need you to stop harassing me <laughs> hi Joe um, I know you're joking I think you're joking but I'm gonna answer your question anyway can you make the bars um, the protein bars the bars that I'll link below can you make the bars with pre-workout in them and maybe some protein too laughy laughy emoji chocolate bar chocolate bar emojis <laughs> actually so here's my my uh, real answer to that, if that was a real question, probably not. <laughs> um, no cow does have a caffeinated bar. It has, I think they use coffee. Uh, I think they use coffee to caffeinate their bars. So if you guys need some sort of um, quick snack before a workout, um, I would suggest no cow. Um, I've not been keeping away from using proper pre-workout supplements lately just because my sleep sucks and I find that when I drink pre-workouts I wake up more in the middle of the night like if I have a good night's sleep it's probably because I've taken magnesium or I've just been zonked um, but if I take a pre-workout for example I will sleep at maybe 1 or 2 a.m wake up a few times in the night maybe wake up at three or four and just be like okay i'm awake <laughs> hope that answered that question okay uh raw organics uh <laughs> would you like to try some more vegan protein bars we'd love to send you some product <laughs> sure <laughs> um rtm 818.96 are you 100 percent vegan yes i am 100 percent vegan it's for the animals Daisy Ann 5, ever fall off the wagon after going vegan? Um, if so, did you beat yourself up for it? Um, I've never beat myself up for it, not because I was eating animal product intentionally, if that makes sense. Like, I maybe ate stuff that had milk in it. Actually, so I, I ate stuff that had milk in it, and I was like, God, I just wish I just looked at the ingredients better. But beyond that, there's nothing else you can do, right? And for me, a big part of my life is making sure that mental health, um, that I'm, my, my mental game is strong. And if I beat myself up for stuff that wasn't intentional, it's just not good for my, my mind and my soul, so I don't. <laughs> but other than that, because I do it for the animals, um, I've never fallen off the wagon in the sense of, I crave a cheese pizza and I want to eat that cheese pizza. Um, I make my own pizzas. Vegan. Or I buy a vegan pizza. Um, Shell Stro. What is your fave vegan protein powder? Well, Shell, I actually just finished it last night. It's Active Alliance. I really love Active Alliance. I've gotten this question a few times actually because um, not only are the macros nice, um, but they're, the owners are really focused on having good good um, ingredients. As you can see, they use primarily pea protein, rice protein, um, vanilla flavor, monk fruit extract, xanthan gum, and stevia. Um, so they minimize the amount of ingredients that they have, to, that they use, because they know that they don't need to put a lot of crap in, in the protein to make it a great protein powder. Um, and also, it mixes really well. It's super smooth and... <laughs> 
I've said this before, when I was younger I used to eat spoonfuls of powdered creamer. I could eat spoonfuls of this, which I wouldn't recommend because you need water to properly digest it um, in your body, but it's good. I like it a lot. Oh, I have a coupon code, which I'll um, put here <laughs> and a link down below. Okay, um, best wireless headphones to work out in from Ernie Elino. Hi Ernie, thanks for your question. So uh, these are pretty beat up because they're called Plantronics Back Beat Fit. <laughs> so here's the reason I like them, Ernie. I actually have had a couple of these. My husband uses another pair of, um, you know, those single buds that you put in. But I have small ear holes. Sometimes even the small options that you get from earbuds don't work for my ears. I have small ear holes. So I like these because they actually wrap around your head. And they're just Bluetooth. And they're easy. And you have the controls for volume and moving your um, music back and forth um, on the sides. And I love them. I got them off of Amazon. I'll put that link down below as well. I think it was like maybe 60 or 70 bucks. It's wonderful and it's durable and um, earbuds because I use them all the time for the gym usually last me less than a year and these usually last me over a year. I know that's a little extreme for most people but that's my life. Oh look it's cold enough. <laughs> okay. Patrick Ja Lee. Friend, thank you so much for your questions. Is there anything you take such as Kratom, K-R-A-T-O-M, I don't know what that is, if that's what that is, um, or maybe you're, you're meaning creatine, um, coffee bean extract, or theanine. Uh, I took a bigger screenshot of the whole. Where is that? Oh, theanine on your feeling off days. So, is there anything you take such as kratom, coffee bean extract, or theanine on your feeling off days? So, feeling off, I'm guessing, um, Patrick, that you're talking about when you're not feeling well. That's how I'm taking the question. And that's really interesting that you say that, because if you've been following me on Instagram, you know in the last week I've been sick. And we were traveling to San Diego, and the reason I was sick is because I did that to myself. <laughs> I drank consecutive days, I was walking around the cold, I was not eating good, um, and a splash from the roof just hit my lip. <laughs> um, and what's funny enough is if you guys, you guys follow me, um, you know that every morning I love to have my coffee. Coffee's great. But when I started getting sick, what I do guys, just in general, is I actually, instead of trying to listen to what my head says and what my cravings are, like from a mouth, like palate perspective, I, I stop and think like, what is my body kind of telling me that I, I'll need? So I stopped and I thought about that, right? Because my normal routine in the morning is coffee. Um, and so I actually just um, listened to my body and I thought about well, how will coffee make me feel? One, it, it, it'll, for whatever reason, it made my kind of gut feel like the idea of it not feel good. Um, so I didn't get coffee, but also coffee has that kind of caffeine energy boost like this, right? <laughs> I think that makes sense for you guys. And I didn't want that. I wanted something of an even pace. Now, I actually rarely drink matcha tea but for every reason I was like oh, I freaking need some matcha tea and that's what I've been drinking this last week so we were traveling to San Diego and I might buy this the tea that this one cafe had online but I got um, matcha tea from Whole Foods this is new me this is actually pretty good it, it was about 17 or 18 bucks now this is what they call ceremonial matcha which is uh, supposed to be a really I don't really know much about matcha um, about the process ceremonial or not but it's supposed to be a really good quality um, and the difference between matcha if you guys can see that picture is matcha is not tea leaves that you brew but matcha is tea leaves that are ground up so you're said to get more of the nutrients um, from matcha than you would from a normal tea I'll, I also took a small video of what my matcha looks like so I'll put that somewhere here or maybe I'll talk to it 
So, interestingly enough, I looked at to why would I be craving matcha tea? That's strange. I started Googling, right? Um, and matcha tea, a lot of teas actually have L-theanine. Hey, isn't that interesting? Um, so, L-theanine is an amino acid, a naturally occurring. Um, you can get a lot from teas, but matcha is said to actually have more L-theanine than um, other teas. And probably, partly, prob probably because you're consuming the whole tea, but I think in general the tea leaves itself have more L-theanine than, um, than your regular teas. L-theanine, as the amino acid, actually um, induces relaxation. And I've been just a little bit stressed out lately just because I want to be successful at work. I have all these goals that I want to accomplish, you know, just things for myself. And so L-theanine um, is in matcha, and I randomly craved matcha. The other thing is green tea is actually um, alkanizing. So um, coffee is really acidic. And your body actually doesn't do too well on a very, when your body's too acidic, um, your body does better when it's more alkaline. I'm not going to get down to that rabbit hole now, but just be aware of that as well. So yeah, I was craving um, tea. And I'm, I'm doing this thing, um, Patrick, where I'm trying not to um, be too reliant on medicines and whatnot. Although, I because I was... in I did want to just get better quicker. I also took Dayquil, but for whatever reason, when I take Dayquil and Nyquil, I start swelling up. But yeah, and I also don't know if they do. I'm guessing Dayquil and stuff do, does animal testing. My guess, I don't know. Um, so I try to stay away from medicines as much as possible. Although I will also admit that when I am not feeling so good, I do rely on zinc. Zinc is um, another mineral, mineral, uh, naturally occurring, that um, your body can only consume in small amounts for stretches of time, and it's the only thing that, um, by research, has shown to um, reduce the length of a cold. So, zinc. I hope that answers your question. That was a long answer. Um, so question from Carmelo underscore yellow. Thanks for your question, friend. <laughs> what do you suggest for gaining muscle on a skinny frame? Gaining muscle on a skinny frame. Uh, so for gaining muscle for anything, you have to eat. And in order to gain muscle, you need to eat the right amount of not only your proteins, but also your fats and your carbs. Um, most people that are skinnier, if if you're skinny because you're eating a ton, that just means you have a fast metabolism, right? Um, will it take you a little bit more food than the average person? And I eat a lot to gain muscle. Yeah, probably. Um, but the the overall idea is the same: eat the right amount of food to make sure you're lifting. You can you have the energy to lift and build the muscle. Now. What I'd recommend for you also, friend, is um, start to maybe look at what your macronutrients might be. If you have something like a Fitbit, um, see how much calories you uh, burn on a regular day and maybe start um, building your macronutrient pro profile, your protein, fat, and carbs profile based on that. Um, and if you're open to it, I would suggest getting a coach. I love my coach, uh, Danny Taylor. She's amazing. Uh, vegan proteins, I'll link her down below um, if you need macronutrients. She does it just based on, I think, a one-time macronutrient calculator. She does ongoing macronutrient planning, which I'm doing with her right now since I'm not, I don't have a show, bodybuilding show coming up in the near future. Um, and she also does um, plans for coaching um, on your weightlifting, your exercising, as well as your um, uh, weights. Um, and I would also say, if you are on a, if you are skinny frame, the probability of you actually having to do cardio is less 
soft and somebody that loves their body loves fluff. My body loves fluff. So sometimes I have to do cardio. Um, but the the general idea is the same, um, is to eat as much, eat, eat the right amount of foods to make sure that you're building, the, you have the nutrients to build your muscle. I know that's a very vague answer, but that's the answer. Um, yeah, let's see. Did I miss anything? That's it guys. Hey, thanks for your questions. If you guys want to ask me questions, um, I do post Instagram stories either it's Tuesday or Wednesday where I'm asking for your questions. So just look out for those stories to um, send me your questions. Um, but other than that, if you guys aren't already following me, feel free to follow me. You don't have to, but you can if you want. <laughs> um, and if you want to see more content from this mug, hit the subscribe button. There's a notification bell somewhere. I finally figured out what, where it is. Because I'm not consistent on when I post and what time I post, you should probably click it so you get notified. Hey, Dingbat Baby Gorilla posted a video. <laughs> Alright guys, have a good day. See y'all. <laughs> so I head to my plants.